Hello again, I'm Professor Demoford, and today I want to make a small video about the upcoming Alpha 1 cell. First of all, the packets will be costly. Then, I strongly believe that by tagging the game's current state as an Alpha, many people, if not the majority, will have different expectations about what they will get, and that will create a very bad experience for the players that they will spend a ton of money expecting something else. So, I want to present the game's current state exactly as it is, so if anyone out of you considers buying those Alpha 1 keys, double and triple think about before buying anything, and have your expectations right. So, let's see where the game is at right now. The World of Vera the game's map is still early in development, with only 20-25% being playable, but even that is nowhere near 100% ready and polished. Expect to fall off the map, stuck in many places, find many untextured objects and environment, misplayed on flying objects, issues with the NPC population, and countless bugs all over the place. Now, you might be thinking, I don't care about the small map size and the bugs. All I want is to try all the classes, find the best for me, and get ahead of everyone else in the release. Unfortunately, you won't be able to create a class during this testing. All you can do is select the first archetype. But that doesn't mean much. If you don't know about the Ashish unique and complex class and skill systems, you could watch my first ever video in which I explain details that. However, you may find it long and boring. So to put it simpler, in Ashish, to create a class, you need first the augment system. You will need to pick a race, two archetypes, then select what kind of weapon you want to use, and then select what skills you want to use. So right now, what do we have? We can pick only one archetype. We have 4 out of 9 races available. The most important feature, the augment system, won't be available during this stage. All the available weapons are still subject to change. Some may be removed or others to be added. And lastly, we have access only to some skills just up to character level 10. None of them will be balanced and for sure many significant changes will happen until the release. Some will get removed, all the animation might change like we recently saw with the fireball skill. A complete balance overhaul will happen multiple times and even some skills might be moved to different archetypes. So you won't be able to see any class and expect everything to change in the skill side until the release. Okay, so you won't be able to create a class, have a good try on skills, see all the map, but at least you can go do some questing and get a head start on the release, right? I'm sorry, but you won't be able to do so. The questing will be minimal and the majority will be just a placeholder for the later development stages. What about sailing? Can I build my ship, go explore the ocean and have some pirate fun? No. The current limited map will contain many islands. However, instead of ships, you will have to use teleportation points. Now about the caravan system. The caravan system has been very buggy so far and I don't see it be available during this testing period. However, I can't say for sure, we have to wait and see. Gathering, processing, crafting and professions. Ton of people play MMORPGs exclusively to do those things. Ashes of creation, we have a highly complex artisan system. However, 
nothing will be available at this stage. You will just be able to do a very limited gathering on some basic materials and do some limited trading with some merchant NPCs. You won't be able to experience any profession during this testing period. Okay, so far we didn't have much luck, but now I have some good news for you. Will be 6 to 7 available dungeons, and one of them will be almost at a raid level. Also, you can find two ward bosses for party sites and one 40 man raid boss. But that's pretty much all the PvE content you will find. For last, I left the node system. The node system is the heart of the game, a system so important that can easily kill the game if something goes wrong with it. I've made a video about it and I think it is worth watching it, as I compare AOC with all other MMORPG out there and how the node system is making AOC so special. Give it a try if you want. So for this testing period, a small limited node system will be available. We have only 9 nodes instead of 118 and we can advance them up to village stage. We can elect mayor and get access to some limited housing. So guys, that's pretty much what you can do during this testing period. They might add some more features, or they might cut down some of them, but it really doesn't matter. The game is in very early development state. Intrepid decided to call it Alpha 1. Is there a right to call it anything they want? However, I totally disagree with that, and I believe that they are shooting their legs. When you say to someone that a game is in an alpha state, most people will think that the game is close to completion. Some features might not be ready yet. For sure will be buggy. But we are getting there. We are close. And most of the game is ready. Ashes is maybe 20-30% to 30 ready. With most of the systems not implemented yet. In my opinion, the game won't be ready before 2024 or 2025 at least. So, I really don't think that an Alpha 1 tag name represents the current stage of the game as the most people understand an Alpha stage of a game. So, if it's Alpha, if it's not, it doesn't matter what the name is. Just be aware of the game's current stage. So, should you buy it? I want to start by saying that you must keep in mind that the upcoming test period is not for you to try out the game and its features. It's not about you. This testing is for Intrepid. They need to test the core system under a lot of stress, their servers, clients, and honestly, pretty much everything. It's the first really big stress testing for Intrepid to check core systems. It's not for you to check out the classes, races, skills, questing and stuff because they are not in game yet. The game is not even in early stage because nothing is even close to being ready yet. It's still in very early development stage and you should always keep that in mind. So guys now you've been warned, please wait before you buy anything, watch some YouTube videos or jump to tweet and to watch the live gameplay, wait, think about it and then decide if you want to pay to be a bug tester or not. Ashes of Creation have the potential to be the next MMORPG king, however right now all we can do is bug testing stress testing, 
and systems improvement. We'll test all the nice stuff like plus skills, sailing and much more at later testing stages. But we are not there yet. Hey, I was watching that!